Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness. Gemini is water sign energy with you. What you got going on? What you got going on, Geminis? Oi. There's some androgyny on this, Geminis. King of Pentacles there, the Queen of Cups. There's the Sun card. So what's up with you, Geminis? Geminis. The Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Three of Wands with the Eight of Wands. Travel, good news. Uh, be optimistic. Uh, Gemini, some of y'all reading. Learning, education. There's the Ace of Wands. There's the Seven of Swords. There's the Five of Wands. There's the Ace of Cups. Yo, let's get the Ace of Cups. Sam, some of y'all Geminis are gonna... You're gonna be happy with relationships or partnerships. Just maybe not quite yet. Some of y'all, there's still some shit you need to learn. Some of y'all need to be cleaning up some X energy. Or some of you, it's... Uh, that's not even energy that's yours. So, watch your favorite astrologer. There's a lot of miscommunication when it comes to you too, Gemini. So, some of y'all could just be having a lot of people talk shit about you. But, uh, damn, you're in the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Cups, so who gives a fuck, right, Geminis? Face this energy, Three of Swords, to the, oh, to the Nine of Cups, damn, Geminis, there. Ooh, doppelganger energy with you, Gemini. Some of y'all, this sort of conflict energy, because, damn, there's like accomplishment goal energy with you, Geminis. This is like the luck of astrology with you or whatever the fuck you want to call it here, Geminis. Um, take what's yours and leave what's not. Some Geminis are going to stay stuck in this energy for a while. So, uh, I don't know. It, th this is an energy that isn't really going anywhere. Then you got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. So, I mean, sweet Jesus, Geminis. You got someone heartbroken and in this nine of wands because you're looking good. So, damn Geminis. If you're dating, get out there and date. Those of you Geminis, whatever your sort of interest is, get the fuck out there and do your thing. Uh, do your thing, Geminis, because damn. There's the Hierophant. There's the Six of Cups. There's the Emperor Energy. There's the Ace of Swords. There's the Knight of Pentacles. There's the Sagittarius energy. So you got Aries, you got Sagittarius, and there's the Will of Fortune, Geminis. Geminis, work, love, life vibe on this with you. I'm going to be honest. Because you, you always got this sort of uh, external vibe. So, Damn. Some of you, a work opportunity, a life opportunity with you, Geminis. You're like achieving your goals and dreams. So whatever whatever is inspiring you right now, Geminis. And that, that's going to be different for every fucking one of you. So take what's yours and leave what's not. I feel like uh, astrology is definitely factored in with you, especially Mercury. Whether it was retrograde or not, there's a lot of this sort of uh, avoiding conflict energy. With the five of wands but this is through like learning growing and understanding so those of you like taking classes five of wands can be conflict for some of you this could be like conflict resolution energy i don't feel like there's a whole lot you need to do other than just be street smart and wise here i don't know do you know a red pair of shoes or a red pair of socks gemini's i mean where are your Louboutins if you got them, right? I love this energy with you, but it's whatever the fucking focus is. That's what makes the difference with you, Geminis. Especially those of you that are hard to read. So. The Hierophant here at the Six of Cups. Some of y'all, this could be your philosophy. This could be a little bit of religion when it comes to you. 
Uh, those are you Geminis, how you look at things, how you pay attention to things. I like the red. If you like red Geminis, maybe you're finding yourself more drawn to wearing red. I know I said that after notice I'm wearing a red cap. Uh, but you know what I mean, Geminis? There's that Aries energy. There's the Sagittarius. Sagittarius is the opposite of you on the chart there, Geminis. And then you got the Ace of Swords there with the Wheel of Fortune vibe. So, damn Geminis. There's this interesting duality when it comes to you. So hopefully you're focusing on that duality, Geminis. Which for some of you is why it might be a little hard to get a read or get a feel on you. Because you are kind of doing the Gemini thing there. Some of you could definitely be thinking about things. So you're weighing your different options. You're weighing different opportunities. Some of y'all could be going back and forth as to what you feel with regards. Especially with religion or philosophy. Some of you, I like this though. That emperor energy. Some of y'all, especially if you listen to like educated people. So if you're like reading the classics. Or some of you, you're listening to lectures or TED Talks. Uh, you like people with uh, PhDs. Uh, you could be reading books or literature that uh, would be more in line with uh, upgrading. So, damn Geminis. Take what's yours and leave what's not. There's a tad bit of impatience on this. So... Uh, Gemini's, you all learning uh, patience is definitely going to be very interesting with you. Some of y'all are going to be stuck in this Five of Wands energy. Until you figure out, like, uh, resolution vibes. So, take what's yours and leave what's not, Gemini's. Others of you, this is like uh, accomplishing wish fulfillment goals energy with you in a very unique way. So, I don't know, whatever whatever it is that you're doing, Gemini's. This is like religion, philosophy. I definitely like the idea of uh, anything that sort of promotes healing with you. So, some of y'all could be looking at the sort of uh, Eastern philosophy or uh, retreat energy with you, Gemini's. Stay moisturized, stay hydrated, wear your sunscreen. If you get the chance to do like some sort of spa treatments, it definitely wouldn't hurt. It's like a fun cleansing vibe. This could be like a good retreat energy as well with you, Gemini's. Some of y'all, if you get the chance to go uh, skinny dipping, I feel like that's a good sort of release energy with you. Or spas or saunas, hot tubs, anything like, well, I don't feel like it's hot tub. It might be like um, hot springs. Some of that Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, doing the work that you need to do. This is like good work-ass energy, too. So, damn Geminis. Some of you, I feel it's going to be a good working relationship or partnership before it's romantic. Some of you find the right person once you get that sort of, like, job opportunity. Uh, this is like when you upgrade, right? So you get the better uh, opportunity. You get the job that you want or you get the sort of uh, uh, opportunity that you want. And then in that opportunity, you meet like the perfect sort of person. So if you get the chance to do any sort of traveling or retreat or anything like that, especially when it comes to like a work vibe, um, definitely do it. Somehow this could be convention energy. Esoteric... Uh, this could be when it comes to the healing arts or anything along that line. Uh, this could be convention energy. Those of you Geminis, if you do like cosplay. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be a good work opportunity before it's a romantic one. Who are what's this queen of wands? That feels like drag queen energy. Or whoever your inspiration is. Who the fuck wears yellow? So, who or what is this Queen of Wands with regard to uh, Gemini's? The Piscean Moon with the Hangman energy. 
Seven of Pentacles at the bottom. What a mercy. This almost feels like the fairy godmother energy with you, Geminis. Some of you, the convention circuit or traveling or this could be like a, a masquerade party or a dress party or a costume party. I don't know. Whatever the fuck this is. Get out there and focus on you, Geminis. Four of Pentacles, there you are, Geminis. There's the Five of Pentacles. If there's any sort of competition, Geminis, some of y'all, you need to make sure that you you do the competition. So, oh, whatever the fuck this is with you, Geminis. If this is like something with academics, this could be a bar quiz. Uh, those of you, if you want to do, like, game show energy, anything that deals with costuming for you, Geminis, I feel like would be a good opportunity. Or if it, even if it's just a fucking t-shirt or y'all gonna dress the same. Some of y'all are retreat energy. That's what makes you stand the fuck out. Four of swords, a two of swords. There to the king of wands. Expect the unexpected and enjoy it, Geminis. Some of you, if you get the chance to do like extra credit, this feels like extra work with you. So keep doing the work. Five of Pentacles could definitely be astrological with you. So do your chakra balancing or whatever the fuck it is that you do, Geminis, to stay balanced and focused. So those, some of y'all, this could be your spa treatments, what, whatever the fuck that vibe is with you, Geminis. And then, damn. Good cleansing energy with you. So some of y'all are going to stay stuck. There's something you need to overcome. Or some of y'all could be dealing, this is somebody that needs to overcome something. I don't know, keep doing the work. Some of y'all, it's going to be a working relationship or partnership before it's romantic. I don't feel like it's the same person. It's like the work opportunity comes, the tangible opportunity comes, and then the emotional connection uh, follows thereafter. The Aries energy with you. So I don't know what astrology uh, you are. Some of y'all, Aries could play an interesting sort of vibe in this. So watch your favorite astrologer. They're Geminis. The outcome is what do you want? The outcome is what do you want, Geminis? So retrograde is going to be good for some of you and some of y'all going to stay stuck. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody if this is a secondary energy and they're sort of stuck. I don't feel like this energy should overwhelm either one of you. It shouldn't feel overwhelming unless you're not in like resolution energy here, Geminis. Whatever you use to stay balanced or focused, so Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or those of you that switch to your Vedic astrology, uh, whatever you do, Geminis, because we know that's going to be different for all of you. I like this sort of switch up in energy with you. If you get the chance to do anything with costuming or like a quiz... I don't care if you're just wearing a fucking matching uh, t-shirt or uh, uh, like a name badge type vibe. Some of y'all take that opportunity. It does feel like a quiz show or it, it could be a TED talk or some sort of convention vibe here. Some of you are definitely focusing on wish fulfillment. Whether this is philosophy with you, so education, Gemini's. Gemini, there's a lot of energy here. It's basically, what what is the sort of vibe with you? So definitely be mindful manifesting. Be mindful of your thoughts. Be mindful of uh, the energy that you consume. Uh, Gemini's, you know you. So take what's yours and leave what's not. Those are, I don't feel like a lot of you Gemini's are living your life out loud. 
I feel like half of y'all are and you're stuck or stagnant, and the other half of y'all just sort, sort of doing your own thing. You're doing some really remarkable things, too, especially if you're learning, growing, and understanding. Ten of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups, there's the Capricorn vibe. So, damn. Some y'all, it's still party time. You're not really focused on anything all that important. Others of you, it's all about this sort of uh, Ten of Pentacles energy. Six of Swords, the Libra vibe, the Moon, the Queen of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. They're a game of that sort of Ten of Swords. Some of y'all, there's endings, relationships, or partnerships. Uh, however, this sort of is when it comes to you, Geminis. It's a matter of like codependency here. So, some of y'all need to be focusing on what you need to. This is like brings about good opportunities, better opportunities. What is yours and what's not. So, this is the sort of dynamic with you, Gemini. Some of you with regard to relationships or partnerships. So, you know, the right opportunities don't show up until the right opportunities can show up. Uh, work, love, life vibes on that. So, some of you, the stagnation is there for a reason. So don't overwhelm yourself. Because there's the Fool, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, whatever your philosophy is on retrograde. Those of you, uh, expect your, especially Mercury. Because you are ruled by Mercury, Gemini. There's a Seven of Swords. Yeah, this is all about conflict resolution. So that's sort of the difference here, Gemini's. Whether this is your energy, Gemini's, or like the external vibes around you. Uh, take what's yours and leave what's not. Three of Cups always feels like the uh, Three Sisters Volcanoes there in the Pacific Northwest. And also the, uh, isn't it the Pleiades constellation in the Belt of Orion? Uh, so definitely watch your favorite astrologer, Gemini. Some of y'all, this could be just external factors with you. Stay focused on what's important to you and you got this. Peace, love, and light vibes, Gemini's. I don't, if you're not living your life out loud, you're not going to get in a tarot reading. Uh, so some of you, I think that's the difference. Uh, so take what's yours and leave what's not. Because some of y'all are still sort of messy energy. If there's any sort of issues with communication, I feel like that works to your benefit, Gemini's. So uh, if someone was sort of talking shit about you, I feel like that sort of energy is kind of dispersed out back. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's whatever you're focusing on here. It's a good competitive vibe. So Gemini's whatever you're doing with the little competitive edge, I like it. If you want to do like a game show or something like that, Gemini, some of y'all, that sort of group dynamic would do you good. Uh... Especially if you're, like, really good in group dynamics. Some y'all are really good in group dynamics. Some y'all suck. So. Damn Geminis. If you get the chance to sort of reconnect with nature, get out there. Positive vibes. This is a get good in. Stay moisturized, hydrated, wear your sunscreen. I almost feel like this uh, sort of inspirational energy. Some of y'all may cry or some of y'all may need to cry just to sort of release that energy. But I feel like it's like that healing energy. Um, you know the waterfalls that come down in like one sheet? It's like one just sort of thing of uh, water. Some of y'all could be somewhere where that's it or some of y'all like the little bamboo fountains or there's like some trickling energy that goes from like one down to the other. Um... It's like the positive ions. So there's that sort of positivity there when it comes to the running water. So, I mean, damn Gemini. Some of y'all could be going... Uh, somewhere Eastern, right? Japan, China, somewhere where there is bamboo. Wow, my Gemini's. Some of y'all, it's a cleansing energy. Some of y'all, it could be a baptism. I don't know. Some of y'all could be some sort of spiritual bath or spiritual thing. I don't know. It's, it's whatever the fuck is yours, Gemini's. Especially if you're not living your life out loud with that moon card. 
So it pays to be mysterious, Gemini's. Anything else for Gemini's? Watch your favorite astrologer. This could definitely be interesting astrologically with you. Whatever you're doing work-wise, keep working on it. Whatever you're being inspired to right now, Gemini's. Send me all the work uh, group dynamics. Some of y'all need to be working on group dynamics. So that way you can move forward. That's like a positive either way. Uh, so when it comes to that, it's, um, I don't know. It's like live and learn energy. It is like live and learn energy. Some of that is like so external to you, Gemini. So take what's yours and leave what's not. Especially those of you that might be doing a little bit of a, uh, you might be pulling away. Maybe taking a retreat where there is no, like, devices. So, kind of retreating back to nature. Get back out, out there into nature. Especially, like, water fountains, water features. Especially, like, anything with the bamboo. You know, a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of spas like to use the bamboo fountains or uh, uh, different sort of things like that. Or you could be going somewhere tropical where bamboo grows. I like bamboo. Maybe bamboo means something. I don't know the spiritual meaning of bamboo. Maybe you do, Gemini's. What's with this Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Wands for Gemini's? Maybe if you're not living your life out loud, <laughs> it's not going to show up in your fucking reading. So take what's yours and leave what's not. Especially that Piscean mood. I love the Piscean. Yeah, some of y'all get out there, moisturize, stay hydrated. Anything you can do when it comes to, like, water. So this is baptism. This could be definitely some spa energy. Maybe not hot tub so much, but maybe like hot springs or a hot stone massage or like a steam energy with you. A lot of beautiful like blessings energy. So definitely be mindful of your sort of thinking here too, Gemini's. It is like the power of positivity. Is this, it is sort of pulling that, um, uh, the positive vibe. So whatever that inspiration is with you. Some of y'all are having a hard time distinguishing between like religion, religion, and like philosophy. So Gemini, some of you could kind of go back and forth. And that's what kind of makes a difference when it comes to you. Some of you, that could be when it comes to a relationship or partnership. Or some of y'all like a, a work opportunity. A lot of fun vibes and work when it comes to you. So whatever it is you're doing, Gemini's, get those resumes out there. Keep doing the work that you're doing. I definitely think you're showing up. But there is there is some like interesting sort of resolutions or interesting sort of things you need to overcome. Something I could definitely be when it comes to spirituality. Whether this is your spirituality or not. So this is like a, if you're in this emperor energy... Moving forward and making things work, especially just with the sort of climate that there is now. There's a lot of people that's dealing with things and uh, is very mindful of that. So Gemini, some of y'all could be having a focus on that. Rather inadvertently, it just kind of is like a secondary. I don't think it's that overwhelming with you, but uh, Gemini's, it might be overwhelming to someone else. And that is, you know you, you know the work that you do. Some of you with HR, those of you when it comes to the work group dynamic, right? So educate yourself, learn, grow, understanding. If you get the opportunity, if you get any opportunity, go to a convention or a spa or some of y'all a work retreat. Some of y'all could get a work retreat, dealing around religion or philosophy or something like that. Some of you, it's like uh, you could be doing this because it's like uh, rejuvenating for you. And some of y'all, this could be because you need to do it for work. But figure out a way to make that like a positive vibe for you. So some of y'all go on that work fucking trip. If uh, they're going to pay for you to go to a convention or go to some sort of a, a workshop or something like that, fucking hey, just go on the trip. Some of y'all could get the chance to go somewhere where bamboo grows. So take what's yours, leave what's not. Some secondary energy that isn't yours. Some of you, it kind of is, but not in the way that you think. So learning, growing, classes. 
That is that. If it's religion, I don't feel like it's uh, definitely your issue, but you might have to be in like resolution energy. You're either resolving problems, Gemini's, or you're sort of stuck in them. Um, I don't feel like you're both. So some of you don't see the sort of outcome because of this sort of energy right here. And others of you, you're all about that sort of resolution energy. Because you bring that sort of resolution energy. So this uh, this could be a very interesting work retreat. So if you get the opportunity, just go. You can figure out some way to have some fun. I am Gemini's. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Yeah, different sort of philosophy when it comes to you, Gemini. Some of y'all simplifying the fuck out of something, too. That's going to be what makes the difference. Some of y'all are going to get the chance to sort of decompress, uh, and that's going to make a difference. So if you do a retreat and there's no electronics or anything like that allowed, uh, that might be a good sort of compression energy with you. Definitely anything around water, running water, the positive ions. So uh, that feels more like uh, hot pools energy. Steam energy. Just a really good spa treatment. Moisturized, hydrated Gemini's. Oh! Make that birthday wish count for fuck's sake, Gemini's. And be grateful and thankful, Gemini's. Those of you that's traveling somewhere where there's like a spiritual connection. So if you're uh, traveling to a sacred place, uh, whether it's sacred to you or not, if it's considered a sacred place, make sure that you... Uh, uh, just at least be very thankful or grateful or whatever you're sort of inspired to sort of uh, uh, pay homage to here, Gemini's. If there's something religious on this or spiritual on this, I feel like you're just kind of, uh, you're having to make sense of it. Some of y'all for work and some of y'all just, yeah, you just don't know what, right? So you could just be sort of figuring it out. If you're not religious or spiritual, at least be very thankful. Take that trip. Take that Take that opportunity. It might seem like it's not going to be great, but you could always find something to do. So take that work retreat. Take that, take that conference or whatever the fuck the opportunity is. You could get some sightseeing in. So resolution energy, you're either stuck in it or you're overcoming energy. You're over here more focused on you. Very zen, very sort of uncluttered. I like that. Watch your favorite astrologer. Take what's yours and leave what's not here, Gemini's. I feel like you're not living out loud, and that's what makes the difference. But it's a sort of peaceful vibe with you. So some of y'all, you get the opportunity, do that retreat where it, it's kind of... Uh, a beautiful sort of a uh, cleansing energy with you. It can be complex or it can be as simple as you want it, Gemini's. Take what's yours, leave what's not. I think you're going to be happily single. Some of y'all, you need to get that upgrade first. Or some of y'all, you need that opportunity and then you kind of meet the right person. I don't think it's going to be mutual for a lot of you. It's like the, the tangible opportunity shows up and then that puts you in the right energy. To meet the right uh, relationship or partnership. The right emotional connection. Hmm. Take what's yours and leave what's not. Like, share, subscribe. Peace, love, and light. I like the Pisces energy. I feel like you're kind of represented in that as much as anything else here, Gemini's. So Pisces could play uh, an important part Especially if you have strong Pisces placement. Peace, love, and light, Gemini's.